Welcome back to Evil Genius, everyone. There are times when I do the show where sometimes I am surprised at how much progress I make in a short amount of time when you're actually playing the game. You sometimes forget just how far you come over the course of just a couple hours. And I have a feeling that we're going to be, or at least I, am going to be feeling that way by the time we get anywhere in this one due to the fact that in the last episode we just moved here to the second island and we have nothing going on right now other than this lovely little mountain that uh, we are carving out for ourselves. Choose a doomsday device. Right. I still need to do that. What did we do last time? I'm going to have to look that up. I may actually pause the episode to look that up. So... Right now, we only have two entrances to our base. I think four, actually. I think the two others got built here in the nonsense room. Yeah. So now we're just waiting on construction workers to fix that. And meanwhile, we need to start setting up our base with non-essential rooms right at the entrances. And also connect them, probably. Otherwise, everyone's going to be wandering around outside. So the first thing we do is type in our cheat code here. And now I can start working with this. I'm actually going to work a little backwards. I wanted to put the storeroom here. I think it's a nice little area. And I'm also going to combine some rooms rather than do what I usually do um, and actually put doorways and such. I don't think I'm going to need doorways here because of the way I'm going to build this. Build the... Uh, Wow, this actually is way too big. Let's see, actually, the lab should be here. I know what I'm going to do in my mind, um, as usual, whenever I play this game, I always wing it, rather than think about my bases ahead of time. And the only reason I do that, it's not what I usually do. Usually I overthink games, just because that's the kind of gamer I am. But when it comes to Evil Genius and City Builders, I tend not to do that just for the sake of fun and variety. And, um, you know, that's the thing about Evil Genius. I've said on in prior episodes that Evil Genius is one of those games that's designed to be experimented with. It is a massive sandbox and you just kind of want to mess around on it sometimes rather than take it too seriously. So, I never try to think ahead on how I'm going to do things from one game to another. But that's where I derive my fun. Obviously, you may derive your fun a different way. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. So this is what I mean. I'm going to put the storeroom next to the lab without a door and without even the standard little two-by-one doorway thing that usually accompanies rooms. So these are going to be nice and deep in the base, and then we'll even extend this out a little bit with the control room. Because the theory is nobody should be getting this far in the base anyway. Let's see. So... Okay, maybe having a hallway is not so bad. So we're going to have a pile of gold probably in the center of everything. Yeah. Actually, I could make that cheaper by making that a corridor. Ooh, actually no, what I'll do is make this an armory. So this is going to be the, uh, hmm. Yeah. This is going to be the base building episode. Oh yeah, maybe I should take care of that first. That would be, uh, would probably be a good idea. Uh, power, power, power. 
I'm gonna keep that kind of far back too. I don't want an agent of good getting in there and exploding our power plants, do we? Alright, so... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Line it with capacitors over here. And then another... Again, money's no object the way we're playing today, so none of this matters. Um, let's see, where's my entrance? Oh man, that is forever away. Alright, let's... Uh, what I'm basically going to have to do... Yeah, there we go. What I'm basically going to have to do is work my way over there room by room. And then start having my evil genius prioritize things. So we've got that. We've got our drink machines. Got our tennis table. And this is the first room here. That way whenever any agents of good come in, they just see this nice, happy little training room. I mean, why else? Obviously nothing evil is happening here when there's just this happy little training room. Staff room, and then right behind that, with a heavy door, is just a weight room and some beds. I mean, nothing suspicious there. So, part of the reason I'm setting the base up this way with a lack of doors, this is the one thing I do plan out on Island 2 between games. The biggest problem with Island 2 is John Steele who will make an appearance way too soon because he always makes an appearance way too soon. And what I need to do... You'll see what I'm planning here by the way. I know I'm kind of being a little schizophrenic with the way I'm doing things right now, but all in due time, you will understand. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm just going to place an armory right here, and then I can... Oh, actually, never mind, that's not a good idea. What is a good idea is extending the barracks so I can put down some... Really? Game? So I can put down some lockers, since obviously that is going to be very necessary. Keep our population caps up nice and high. So anyway, John Steele's biggest thing is that um, is the most disruptive to the base is he will randomly start triggering your alarms and uh, he will change all the locks, all the door locks to level one doors. And so I learned the first time I played Evil Genius that when he starts doing that nonsense, it can take a while to try to fix that. It takes a while to go to every door you have and to deal with the fallout of that. So I learned a long time ago that the best way for me to handle that is to not even have very many doors in your base. And if you build your base intelligently, then you don't really need that many doors. Um, in fact, I'm kind of doing this unintelligently. Because that is not as cleanly placed as it could be. Or rather, not as cleanly sized. There we go. That's better. Um, but I'm gonna leave that open. Oh, god damn it! I hate it when I do that. I do that so often, it's maddening. Um, well, never mind. This is probably better placement anyway. Which might be sour grapes on my part. It is what it is. Alright, so what we want is we only want a few doors here, because the idea is, to finish my previous thought, 
the agents of good cannot get past or should not be able to get past a certain point on Island 2. You should set your base in such a way... And honestly, this should apply to more than just Island 2. Island 1 really should be like this, but a lot of times you don't have the luxury of setting things up exactly how you want. Regardless, the way this should be set up is that... The way this should be set up is that beyond a certain point, you can connect everything to everything because... The Agents of Good shouldn't be able to get that far. So the point is, like, the Agent of Good is, is going to come in here. They're going to have to breach this door. They're going to have to breach this door. And then, I mean, I've still got more rooms to play with that are safe. Um, such as this library, which we are putting in. And this way, I also don't have very many doors I'm working with. They won't be able to get through... They won't be able to deal with all of these doors, and if they do, we're going to have a whole bunch of agents ready to completely wreck their shit. Let's see. Let's put this here. Let's, we'll square up that corner. And there will be veterans of this game who watch this LP and get upset at the way I'm building my base, and that is perfectly within your rights to do so. I, uh, build my base a certain way, and again, I just wing it half the time. So, there will be veterans who think I am being incredibly inefficient, and that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Because everybody has their own way to play, and when it comes to Evil Genius, I never min-max. Well, I don't min-max, especially when I'm cheating, I should say. Um, oh, we can add the pharmacy here. There we go. And, oh heck, let's do something crazy and link all of these together. Okay, so if the room, if the little trap we made, if this is here designed to waste the enemy's time, then this is here to waste their time, but also give our minions access to certain things that we need to give them access to. This is the area that we cannot allow the, min um, the agents of good to get any further than. Oh, okay, camera. Work with me. If the agents of good get beyond these four rooms, we need to start taking action. And so we're going to link these two last rooms with an armory. If I can friggin' find the armory. Where's the armory? There it is. But then this is where we don't need walls anymore, or doors rather. So this armory will have one desk. Let's see, how is this laid out? I could actually cheat, not literally, although I'm doing that too. We do this, and this way this still has access, so I don't get any situation where my sa where enemy saboteurs are blowing up my rooms for being illegally placed. And for the sake of research, I'm trying to get one of every item in the game. May as well just shove this in the corner. We're going to have to, we're going to wind up having to, um, expand. 
the armory eventually too, once we start getting some of the other classes in. But this should be good. Th this is actually a fairly good start. Big screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I'm so liking this base. Yeah, I'm liking this. So we're going to add a standard door here. Just because it's basically unnecessary. So anyway, so these are the four rooms, which, whatever... Um, where is... I need to keep Maximilian on the move to... I'm gonna probably have to let this episode go a bit long. I realize it's been 15 minutes already. So... Um... Let's see. Fasta, Fasta. Um, so I've left all this open because I'm gonna extend this out this way. This will be where... We start sending other things. I needed the training room. The training room actually pulls some aggro, which is annoying, but it is what it is. Um, oh, shoot. We need freezers. Like, that's another big one that I don't have. Uh, let's see. It's going to be too big. That should probably... thinking ahead here. Now the freezer, the freezer can be open. I could just do that. Be done with it. Alright, um, so we do need a heavy security door here. This is the point of no return for our agents of good. If they breach this door, we need to take care of them, because that's where everything sensitive starts to appear for our base. There we go. That should be good. That is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so that can hold 60 bodies. We should never be in a position where we've got 60 bodies and need more body space. That'd be pretty, uh, pretty bad efficiency. Cool. And I'll put in speakers and everything once we get the rest of this area established so I can start seeing radiuses. Or radii. What is the right word for multiple radiuses? Is it radii? Oh, whatever. So anyway, this is going to be a little expensive, which is, again, why we have cheated like crazy to get money. Um, they must work harder. We must work harder. We must work harder. Kind of dipping into my Mayor Morgan voice there. It's weird that my Mayor Morgan voice and my Maximilian voice are the same thing, even though one is Austrian and one is a weird southern woman. I don't know. What the hell accent do I do for Mayor Foster, Morgan? Foster, 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 Foster. All right. So there's really not a whole lot we can do right now. This is why I wanted the episode to go a little long, because I have a feeling that if I just start the next episode in a minute, I wonder if we're even going to be able to do much there either. Oh shit, I should be working on my hotel too. Um, while I'm at it. Yeah, you can't build where there are trays. So... Oh, you can build where there's trays. How about that shit? Let's say, uh, oh. Okay. I haven't put it there before, but sure. Um. Wait, alright. Here's what I'm gonna do. Where's the... First... Really? Oh, I just can't place this until I place a hub. That's annoying. Alright, um... So that seems to be the line. 
because I want I want the hotel fairly close to the entrance so I can react to emergencies. Especially since I can't move it once it's done. Oh, that sucks. I didn't have this in the right spot. Did I? Shit. Oh, what a waste, man. That is that is a major quality of life they need to change if they wind up finishing the sequel. Wow, I didn't realize I could build this on the trays. See, like... You have to be allowed to move. Yeah, that's good enough. You have to be allowed to move outdoor buildings. Or destroy them or suck. Wait. Oh my god, you can destroy them? Well, I feel stupid. So it's a matter of right-clicking the, exte the exterior wall. Okay. I've always clicked the interior walls. Can I destroy topside shacks then, too? I probably can't. I probably can't destroy a top side shack. Oh shit, this is a problem. So these guys are freaking out because they're trapped in the room. And this is what encourages the agents of good to start exploding shit. But luckily you've got a honeymoon period in Island 2. Where, um, the agents of good will not attack you. Must work harder. We must work harder. We must work harder. So this is a good time to prioritize because you can see it's not lit. The little tag is not lit, which means no one's on that job. And now that I prioritized it, oops. Now that I prioritized it, someone is going to be on that job. There he goes. Right now, this is a bit of a very awkward setup. Um. I need to link the... Whoa, where even am I? Okay. I need to link these two rooms. Uh, the two entrances, rather. Because right now it's a, kind of a long run for my minions. So while they... Yeah, we're just going to go a half hour on this one. Um, I just looked at the clock. We may as well go a half hour on this one. So we'll add our... Inter our inner sanctum, and I'm gonna get my little feeties cold as I go to it, but that's fine. It's very, 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 very deep in the base. Which is where we need it to be. Um, but then we'll link this up with a training room. And we'll slowly start to move our way over to the right. Again, no use for doors. Um... Yeah, no use for doors. I will keep, well, I guess this needs a door because we don't want the agents of good. Let's see, how can I do this? We don't want the agents of good getting into the training room. So I am going to put a door here. This is also a point of no return for our, you know what, maybe I should just not even... Link those. Yeah, I'm not going to even link them. Because... There we go. Because that way... Yeah, that's good. And that's a... Man, that is a huge training room. Okay. So we'll put the military trainers here. Um, no, you know what? Better idea. We will link these... But we'll make this a level 3 door, and then in an emergency we'll make it a level 2 door. And then the minions can pass through real quick. That's what I'll do. Perfect. This will be our military training room. Um, actually, it might be... Might, I might be able to get away with making this an everything training room with how freaking big it is. One, two, three... Four, five, six, 
seven. Six, seven. Cool, all right, and then, because eventually, we are going to have a heavy duty speaker that can freestand rather than be just a, uh, wow. We can have a freestanding speaker. We'll place it here or here, that way all the military minions can hear what's going on. And just for the, just for clarity's sake, there is no way you'd be able to afford all of what I am doing right now if you're playing legit. This whole thing I'm doing is just because I'm cheating like a mofo. Five, six, that should be good. We need some desks for valets. Oh, I like that we'll make the valets face the freezer. Four, five, yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That way they're looking directly into what happens if you cross me. You don't cross the boss. I am an evil genius. And we'll need more training rooms for more studios, but that's an excellent start. Okay, unpause this room. Max, I need you to get over here and prioritize this. Faster, faster. So anyway, you do have a honeymoon period with the second island before anybody starts showing up, but it doesn't last very long. And in fact, there's an enemy in the base now. But this is a good kind of situation we've got going because again, since I'm doing the non-essential room the non-heat rooms right off the bat the inspector doesn't really have anything to report. So when he goes back home, he'll even report less. Uh, he'll report that everything is fine on the island. And therefore, because he reports everything is fine, my heat actually drops a smidge rather than going up. And if we go to the world map, I bet my heat... Yeah, all across the world, it's minimum. Now, even though I have minimum heat all the way across the world... That doesn't mean that the super agents of good won't sh still show up. So we have to keep our ears open in case uh, Mariana Mamba decides to pay us a visit. Oddly enough, we still have not triggered Jet Chan. I don't think I've had a more efficient opening to my game in Evil Genius ever. Uh, it's rather shocking. Usually Jet Chan sees me on the first island. And then I have to deal with him. And I don't like dealing with him. And I just looked at my audio readout and realized that I had done goofed on this recording a little bit. You guys aren't going to notice anything because I'm going to use some audio editing tricks to make sure that you don't notice anything. But I done goofed. I done goofed hard. Not a huge deal. Surprisingly. I'll fix it for the next episode. Oh, goodness. So this is why you should always... If you're an aspiring Let's Play... Forget that. If you're an aspiring anything that you create, writer, singer, Let's Player, anything, test. Test everything. Test your gear. Test before every single performance or page you write or any other session. Test what you are doing. Just in case you messed up a setting, test everything because that will allow you to avoid mistakes, and it allows you to put on a consistent product. And I did not do my tests today. And usually when I don't do my tests is when I screw up. Oh, what are these guys upset about? Oh, they're probably upset because they found the Uber loot. Ha! <laughs> Oops. Let's, uh, let's take care of that problem, shall we? We need to make a treasure room. And I don't mean a strong room. I mean we need something else. Um, let's see. Let's add another barracks. That can be our, our uber loot treasure room. We'll put it fairly deep in the base. And we'll link these with corridors. I should do this elsewhere, but... Oh, what am I doing? I think I should do this a little 
shallower in the base, actually. But we'll stick some Uber loot here once we get a chance. I need to... Actually, what I should do is put it here, because that's the most open room I've got. Construction yeah. Okay, we are at 30 minutes. I think this is a good start. We have some weaknesses we need to deal with. Can I delete this? Is that a thing I can do? No, so once it's built, it can't be moved, but I can delete it while it's still like this. Oh, okay, once the tarp goes up, I'm, I'm done. All right, cool. All right, so anyway, we will finish up our hotel, and we should get most, if not all, the rooms established in the next episode, and then we'll be ready to... Ready? Don't know why I went south there. We'll be ready to start the base in earnest and hopefully get the lights on in this place, because... Good God. I, I made this an armory, right? Because I was going to stick some weapons there. So instead, we'll just... Expand that out so it's one room. There we go. Yeah, it looks good. Cool. Actually, no. God damn it. Always changing my mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. The reason I'm doing this and adding that corridor instead is because that way I don't have gold down this hallway. Like, that's the only reason I did that. Um... Yeah, I don't want to block off act. You know what? I don't even... Wow, I don't like the way I did that, actually. Hmm. Sorry, I said I was going to end the episode. Let's see, let's add a barracks. What am I looking at here? Oh, I just, I s just super confused myself. All right, and then, ooh, I know what we can do. Check this out. And then we make this, th we extend the barracks over here, and then what we can do, Yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to be really good. All right. So then we go boop, boop. Uh, no, I won't do that one. And then I want to keep some room so they can get there easily. But then we can do this boop, 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 boop. Nothing is blocked off. There's a one tile space between every object. Cool. And then, what I need to do is I need to get a strong room. So we'll just convert this to our strong room. The problem with having a deep strong room is it takes your people for flipping ever to get money when they need to build stuff. Which is why I was trying to put it... That's not good. Alright, we will deal with Mariana Mamba in the next episode. I'm not handling that when I'm 13 minutes over my usual episode length. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another episode.